I'm very happy to introduce the presenters for today's webinar. Kathy I. Martino, Director Product Development, Gabriella Welch, Director Certification, and Megan Glass, Product Manager for the APIX Learning System. Welcome, Kathy, Gabby, and Megan. Thanks, Kim. So, Kathy, can you tell everyone what we're going to cover today? I'd be happy to, Kim. Hi, everyone. We are glad that you're were able to join us today, and in today's webinar, we'll take an in-depth look at the CPIM certification program. We'll talk about why you should earn this credential and how to study for the exam. We'll also answer a few common questions before we dive into the Q&A session. So, what is the Certified in Production and Inventory Management, or CPIM, certification? CPIM covers the body of knowledge necessary to execute, control, and improve all of the internal operations of a company as they relate to planning throughout the planning hierarchy. Inventory management throughout the planning hierarchy is covered as well and is an area that can create significant savings for companies if handled correctly. CPIM covers all of the activities related to manufacturing within the four walls of the company whereas CSCP has a broader focus outside the four walls of the company, and CLTD covers the deliver and return functions of the company. Now that I've covered a little bit about CPIM, Gabby, would you expand on how different professionals fit into the APEX certification? Sure, Kathy. So APEX knows that the center of the supply chain success are people, and certified professionals are equipped to make more substantial contributions to their organizations than non-certified professionals. So if you look at this diagram, you can see some of the job titles as they relate to the uh, five primary management processes that describe all business activities associated with satisfying customer demand. So plan, source, make, deliver, and return. These are also the high level processes referenced in the supply chain operations reference model or the SCORE framework. For example, if you look at the far left box, the master schedulers and demand managers, they generally perform planning processes. Whereas CPIM certification provides in-depth coverage of the plan and make process, and the CSCP covers the end-to-end -end supply chain from suppliers to customers. And now with the CLTD certification, APEX is actually expanding its reach into the deliver and return process. So I hope that helped a little. Uh, Kathy, can you give a little bit of a deeper dive into the CPIM? Yep, I'd be happy to. So um, as I mentioned before, CPIM has an internal focus. Securing CPIM certification demonstrates your ability to understand and evaluate production and inventory activities within a company's operations. So CPIM may be the best option for you if over the next five years you think you'll focus on operations within the four walls of your company and your responsibilities include improving forecasting, scheduling, and inventory management. You need to pass two exams to earn the CPIM certification and there are no eligibility requirements. Once you earn the CPIM designation, it can help you maximize ROI on systems and technologies, master the tools you need to effectively improve internal operations, earn customer satisfaction by delivering lean, just-in-time products and services, and enhance your credibility within the organization. So I get the question sometimes about um, people wondering who the CPIM program is designed for. Based on the current CPIM certification holders, these are the top 10 job titles. There obviously are certainly more job titles applicable to the CPIM, but these are the most frequently reported to APEX. So Kathy, I'm sure people are also wondering, why should a supply chain professional consider earning the CPIM? That's a really great question. Um, so supply chain is all about cooperation and collaboration, interactions and interdependencies. CPIM can help provide you with the tools to help improve your operations increase customer satisfaction, and company profit. CPIM is also one of the best structured, effective ways to learn and master the body of knowledge and apply that knowledge in a variety of work environments to achieve supply chain objectives. We get a lot of questions about why the job market looks, what the job market looks like for CPIM certified professionals. Gabby, maybe you can talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so according to a report published by Michigan State University, uh, there's a huge demand for supply chain managers. Roughly about 270,000 new supply chain jobs are available each year at a projected growth 
rate of 30% with a demand for trained workers exceeding the supply chain by a six to one ratio. So becoming certified at any stage of a supply chain career positions the individual for increased success. Based on this information, let me ask the question, what are the benefits to earning the CPIM to individual professionals? So for individuals, CPIM can help you work in a global environment, streamline your supply chain, and increase your earning potential. By the way, our research shows that currently, CPIM holders earn, on average, 10% more than fellow professionals without the certification. Knowledge and skills gained through CPIM certification include positively affecting lead times and inventory, which are two areas of vital interest to companies, increase the efficiency of your ERP system, and finally give you common terminology that will help you better communicate within and outside your company. Gabby is now going to tell us a little bit about the benefits for your organization. Organizations with CPIM can anticipate better alignment of their global supply chain with their business objectives, uh, better productivity, collaboration, and innovation. And one thing to mention is that according to the uh, PwC in a global supply chain survey, companies expect to achieve 70% higher performance when they focus on supply chain excellence. So we've discussed why you should earn CPIM, and now Megan is going to walk us through how you can use the various study options available to study for the CPIM program. Megan? Thanks, Kathy. So the recommended preparation for the CPIM certification is using the APIC CPIM learning system. Now the learning system contains both printed books as well as web-based study tools. And the printed books are also available in e-reader format and as a PDF download. The web-based study tools are really just a collection of educational activities that support the reading material. So there's both a pre-test and a post-test, section quizzes, flashcards, online activities, case studies, videos, and a number of other helpful tools, including practice tests. The full online kit for both parts includes more than 2,000 questions. So really, when you decide that the CPIM is right for you and you'd like to take the exam, we know that you don't take that commitment lightly. So what we've done is we have a simple five-step approach to help you make sure that you are ready to sit for that exam. So the first thing you'll want to do is choose your study method. There's a lot of different preparation choices, so picking the method that is right for you is really important. We want to help you plan your studies, so begin with the end in mind, create a study plan, understand your strengths and weaknesses. Then once you have that plan, move on to actually studying those reading materials, focusing on the areas of weakness, sections of the exam that might be weighted higher than others. Then apply what you learn by taking quizzes and practice tests, using the flashcards, going back to step two and studying difficult topics as needed, and testing yourself, putting yourself in exam mode by completing those CPIM practice exam emulations. And then finally, taking that exam. So let's dig a little deeper into these steps. In step one, choose your study method. I wanted to let you know that the APIC certification learning systems are designed to be used in a variety of different ways. So you can choose the delivery format that best matches your learning style and your budget. APIC's chapters and international partners offer instructor-led classes and study groups which use the learning system materials. So you can check with your local partner to see if they have a class for the certification that you're interested in that might be coming up. A class is a great option because it provides structure, expert instruction, and the opportunity for discussion with peers as you review the materials. But if you can't attend a class or if you prefer to study on your own, the learning system is easy to use for those who wish to self-study. In addition, organizations who might want to offer more than self-study to their employees can receive guidance from our corporate development group on how to organize an in-house class. So once you've picked the method of study, now it's time to move on to planning your studies. The number one question that I often get from candidates is, how much time does it take to get ready for the exam? How much time do I need to study? And I typically respond that every person learns differently and at a different pace. So in the end, study times can vary based on your years of experience, expertise in supply chain, the study method you pick, how quickly you read and comprehend topics, and a number of other factors. However, we do recommend studying a minimum of 109 hours for the two CPIM exams, so 
around 35 hours for part one and 74 for part two based on average study time. Um, this is drawn from the number of pages there are to read, the number of questions there are, and other learning tools that we've provided in the system. But the good news is that the CPIM learning system is designed for adult learners, and it was specifically created to condense the time that it takes to prepare for the exam. So the learning system does this in a couple of ways. First, the pretest and section quizzes help you to identify and focus on topics that you need to master in order to complete the certification process. And second, we provide you with a smart study tool that customizes study plans for you depending on the amount of time that you have to commit to studying. So let's look at these tools a little bit more in detail. So that first activity that you'll do after watching those introductory videos in the learning system is to take the pretest. The pretest is weighted to the exam and it allows you to assess your current level of understanding. You then use this information to track your progress as you move through the study materials and it's also a big input into the smart study tool, which will help create that detailed study schedule we were talking about. Now, creating that customized learning plan in the smart study tool is step two after taking the pretest. So it's going to help you work backwards from your chosen exam date and take full advantage of all the tools that are included in the materials. So you input your pretest results into the tool, which is available both as an interactive Excel file or as a PDF. And once you put in those scores, you can also indicate your own personal level of comfort. And then a personalized study plan is output and weighted against the ECM. So you can use this tool to focus on the areas that you most need to in order to pass the exam. And then once you've got that plan, the next step is to really dig in and dive into those materials. The CPIM learning system covers the entire APEX exam content manual. The reading materials work hand in hand with the online tools. So don't skip using either one of them. With over 1,500 pages of content and 2,000 online questions, it may seem daunting at first, but remember that the Smart Study tool helps break that down into small digestible chunks, section by section. So you can learn it easily and reinforce those concepts along the way. At the end of the day, this, your study effort should really start with the reading materials. As noted earlier, these are available in the online tool as an embedded e-reader, as we're showing here on the screen. This e-reader text is reflowable and can be viewed on multiple devices, including your phone. So there's an interactive table of contents to help you navigate, bookmarking, and full screen viewing capabilities. You can also request an e-download of a PDF version of the materials if you would like to read them offline. The study section also includes video content. So there are six instructional videos in the online tools that focus on key concepts from the reading materials, including two videos for part one and four videos for part two, one for each module in part two. The online component is organized by module. So each module will include access to that electronic reading material, glossary and flashcards to practice key terms, online quizzes organized by section, and learning activities that let you apply the concepts in real world examples. Now that you've gone through the study material, step four is to practice those concepts. So as you read through, you wanna make sure you're understanding and mastering all those key areas. So using those online quizzes and activities to help reinforce along the way takes you through to step four. When you've done the study portion, all of those quiz questions are providing you with immediate feedback as you answer the question. So you know if you've answered it correctly or incorrectly as you move through the quiz. It also includes descriptive feedback rationale to reinforce that answer and guide you back to the reading materials for additional study. The system tracks your progress as you work through these tools so you can see these areas of strength and weakness and focus on the chapters that need additional review. Now once you move on to the Step four, even though there are answers provided to you in the study section, once you move into these practice exams, as you see here, it's a little bit different. So the practice exams are going to allow you to experience the format and functionality of taking the computer-based CPIM exam. This means that these sample practice exams are timed like the actual CPIM exam, and the time remaining is shown in that top header, as you can see. You'll also have the option to flag questions that you want to return to before you submit your exam for marking. And unlike those other quizzes I was just talking about, you're not going to see right and wrong answers as you do the test. 
But once you submit it and you have your results, you will be able to go back and look at this feedback after you're done taking the test. So this is really a great tool to help you calm your nerves and know what to expect on exam day. Now that you know a little bit more about the learning system, I wanted to go through some key study tips to remember while you're preparing. So there's a number of different ways that you can successfully study for the exam. So remember to choose the best method that's suited for your learning style, whether that's self-study, instructor-led, or study groups. Create that plan. Start by setting up that exam date and commit to it. It's really going to help you to avoid procrastination. Identify those strengths and weaknesses on the exam topics. You will need to be familiar with all the content in the ECM. So to make sure you're studying each of these topics, the learning system quizzes are going to help you to identify these areas and focus on where you need to spend your time. Also make sure that you go beyond memorizing. This test is not just about recalling knowledge items. It's also going to ask you to apply the concepts. So be sure that you really understand them by going back to the reading materials. We also suggest at the end of the program to view the video by APEX instructor Liesl Smith. It's called Techniques for Successfully Taking APEX Exams. The video is included in the learning system or can be purchased separately in Shop APEX. And in the video, Liesl shares a number of techniques that are going to help you achieve the highest score possible on your exam. It also includes tips for non-native English language speakers. And finally, the best way to ease test anxiety is to know what to expect on exam day. Know where that testing center is located, what the process is going to be when you get there, and what to expect in terms of the format functionality of the test. And again, to help you with this last item, we've included some additional resources to help you prepare for exam day. Now, Gabby, I know that there's some more uh, tools that CPIM exam candidates might be interested in. Did you want to talk a bit about those? Absolutely. So Megan mentioned the APIC CPIM exam content manual or ECM, and that's the most important resource that talks to the structure of the exam. So the ECM outlines the CPIM tested body of knowledge and is included in the courseware. It's also, uh, it contains a bibliography of the reading materials and third party textbooks used to create the actual exam questions. For those of you who are APICS members, you will also receive a free e-copy of the ECM, which is available in the benefits section of your My APICS account. If you're not an APICS member, you can purchase an e-copy to shop APICS. Another fantastic resource is the APICS Dictionary and Dictionary app, which are also the essential supply chain references and freedom members. The app contains more than, I think, 4,800 terms from the dictionary and includes flashcards and terms of the day. There's also test taking tips and an instructional video for test taking best practices available on the APEX website. If you need additional information regarding the testing process in the test center, uh, please review the APEX exam handbook. Although you should review the handbook prior to taking your exam, we recommend that you read it during your studies as well. And then finally, we arrive at step five, which is take the exam. So our exams are delivered on demand worldwide at Pearson View Testing Centers. And what on demand means is we no longer have windows, um, but it's through your validity period of your exam. Each CPIM exam is comprised of 150 test questions, and you have up to three and a half hours to complete your exam. So I would suggest scheduling your exam when you begin your training and learning system instruction to ensure you have a higher level of success in meeting your certification objectives. In general, we found that candidates who test within three months of completing their instruction have a much higher success rate in passing the actual exam. And all exam questions are based on information contained in the list of ECM references, which I mentioned earlier. This is one of the many ways that APICS ensures that our certification reflects industry accepted best practices. So when you're taking any exam, uh, people tend to focus on a term rather than the actual question. So just take time to make sure you have a correct understanding of what the question is actually asking before you narrow down your possible answers. This testing strategy, among others, is um, listed in, I'm sorry, it's covered in the legal video that Megan mentioned earlier. So with computer-based testing, we provide you with the flagging system, which allows you to mark or flag any questions you're not sure of, and then you can revisit them at a later time in the exam. This will help in jogging your memory and also allows you to move through the exam more efficiently. And then prior to ending your exam, you can just go back and try to reason through the answers. Eliminate the answers that you're not sure of um, or that you're sure are wrong. 
And that usually leaves you about two possible uh, answers to choose from. And then read the question again carefully and take your best shot. So here are some helpful tips for a successful test experience. As I mentioned earlier, we have free test taking tips which you can access through the APEX website, and that covers these points and a few more. You can also find detailed exam day prep information in the exam handbook. It's helpful to reduce any stress generating situations immediately prior to taking your test, so being prepared on the process and arriving early will set you up for success. You'll also receive your pass or fail results immediately at the testing center once you complete your exam and submit it for scoring, so you don't have to wait for your exam results. However, you do need to wait at least 24 hours after taking your exam before you visit your My APEX certification section of your My APEX account. And that just allows us enough time for peers and you to, to send us your exam data. After 24 hours, you can go ahead and access your My APEX account, and then you have a few services there available to you. You can order your certificate, you can download an e-certificate, you can upload your information to LinkedIn, uh, you can pull your score report, um, you can even email your certification information to a third party. We also offer a verification tool which is available to the public, and that's called the Credential Verification. It's a service that elevates the credibility of our APEX credential. Anyone can look you up in the individual's active certification status on this page, and this page is located at apex.org forward slash verification, and that information will be included in this slide deck. And then finally, maintain the certification that you earned. To maintain the CPIM certification, you're required to pursue activities to support ongoing professional development over a five-year period. And details on this program are listed in the certification maintenance handbook. I know we have some really great questions coming through, um, but before we get to answer uh, our Q&A session, let's review a few common questions that you may already have. Kathy? Thanks, Gabby. Um, so here are the costs for the learning systems and exams for CPIM. We know that costs are top of mind for everyone, and you'll notice that for CPIM, we offer a bundle for substantial savings. The bundle includes the part one and part two learning systems in both exams, and is only available to APEX Plus members. If you are not a member, you can purchase the membership with the bundle, and if you're a core member, you can upgrade your membership to purchase the bundle. Keep in mind that many of our North America chapters and international partners offer CPIM classes. Those prices are set by the partner and not APEX, and the price will vary by partner. So just keep that in mind, and they're also not listed here. Um, Gabby, can you talk a bit about options students have for funding their certifications? Sure. So I do get that question a lot, um, and we all know that every great investment needs some seed money um, to start. Here are some key ways many of our exam candidates get the funds they need to prepare for the CPIM exam. Sometimes your corporation or your organization will have tuition reimbursement. There's corporate training, job training programs, um, military benefits for active duty and veterans, um, and then PayPal offers no payment um, plus no interest for six months, and you can check their information or details on their site. If you don't think that your company provides incentives, just ask them. It's worth investigating. And Megan, another question we always get from potential candidates is how to find time to study and take the exam. And I think you have some really good advice for candidates. I do, Gabby. Thanks. So there is really rarely a perfect time to commit to earning a certification. We all have busy lives and feel like there's not enough time for everything that we want to accomplish. So making your certification a priority is really important, but it doesn't need to take over your entire life. I just have a few considerations that people can keep in mind to help plan for the exam and get that certification that you want. First is start early. You can make a realistic study plan that works for you by utilizing the tools that are provided in the learning system. And remember that the tool allows you to take the pretest, which lets you identify topics to focus on so you're not wasting valuable study time on topics you might understand really well. And once you've created your study plan, just remember to stick to it. It's also best to take the exam within three months of completing your studies because the longer you wait, the more you'll forget and the longer it'll take you to get your certification. The learning system is made for busy professionals 
and it allows you to use your time wisely to help you get ready for exam day. Thank you for attending today. Have a great day. All content and materials included in this online event are the property of APEX and are protected by the United States and international copyright laws. All rights are reserved. Thanks, everyone.